Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel, The History Squad. Right, this is uh, a, not a film. This is me answering questions. I get asked so many questions, and the biggest one I'm asked so often is, do longbow arrows penetrate plate armour? And uh, I've done lots of experiments. I've done lots of shooting at armour, and the arrows bounce off or shatter. The best is the long bodkin. It might go in a centimetre. And I've watched countless, I suppose, other people. But the fact is, if we go back to the Battle of Agincourt, the armour was hammered. It wasn't from rolled steel. There could be weak spots. There could be thicker spots. Um, and if the arrows could penetrate armour, I'm asking you this, you know, why did knights wear armour? They'd have been much agile if they'd have just had padding. Yeah, so it's, it's this business, isn't it? And if you look at Agincourt, wooden stakes in the ground for the cavalry. You look at the Battle of Cressy, they dug pits in the ground, yeah, to trip the horses over. So as far as I can make out for everything I've read and I've looked at is, forget this question, did longbow arrows penetrate plate armor? In my opinion, no, right? As a general rule, no. And lots of the modern tests, it's modern steel, it's modern bows, modern arrows. We're trying to recreate it. But let's go back, go back in time. There are stories, for instance, of shattered arrows causing damage. You look at Henry V when he was the young Prince of Wales. It was part of an arrow that went straight through his cheek because he got his visor up instead of it being down. If it had been down, it would have deflected the arrowhead. Oh, there's a clue, yeah? And also, I've got a, a couple of stories, and I want you, if you can, my loyal followers, if you've heard these stories, can you tell me? Because I can't find the reference to them. These were told to me years ago by other bowmen and bowyers. The one is we were discussing about the effectiveness of longbow arrows. I don't know the war, it could be 100 years war, it could be the War of the Roses. A knight in front of his men has raised his arm and is about to do this, I suppose, when an arrow has hit him here. Bang, right in the joint, and he can't get his arm down. He's been led back through his men. They've had to take off his van brace and a whole lot and refit it. And when he comes back, his troops are gone and the battle's virtually over. Is that a true story? I'd love to know because it's one that's locked in since my uh, Warwick Castle days. Another one is of a knight who survived a battle and a hailstorm of arrows. But when he took his armor off, his jack was soaked in blood because he'd got pinholes through his armor and where the arrow heads had pierced, he'd been cut. Now, one of my subscribers, Sean Henderson, uh, I asked him if he knew of any of these stories and the only one he could remember was of William Marshall. William Marshall, probably the greatest knight ever, one of my faves, um, who'd been at a joust uh, tournament and he'd, been, he'd won, but he couldn't claim the prize because he'd been battered around the head, the great helm, so much that it was jammed. And whilst they were giving the ceremony of, here it is, the great knight, he was, <laughs> he'd got an armourer banging the helmet, trying to get it into shape so he could simply get it off. So, back to the beginning. If you want my opinion, arrows, medieval times, they can dent armour, they can make pinholes. But unless there's a weak spot, I doubt, hand on heart, that longbow arrows could penetrate armour. So, thank you very much to all my subscribers. Keep the questions coming in. And I will send you the answers and I don't mind you disagreeing, yeah, because this is a great forum. I'm, I'm actually learning some, some things from other people. So thanks for listening. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribing and ding that bell. Thank you very much.